Hey guys, welcome back. Another kind of graph problem we are going to dive into is flow networks. So let's talk about what is a flow network. Technically or in graph terms, a flow network is a directed graph where each edge has a capacity and a flow going through it. And this flow starts from a vertex which we call a source vertex and it goes into or end at a vertex called target or sink vertex. See, this is a flow network. We generally represent sources as and sink as T. And in this network, each edge is having a directional flow and a capacity associated with it. So, Capacity means that the edge, the respective edge, cannot have more than that amount flowing through it. For example, see this edge AB, it's having a capacity of 6. So you cannot pass through more than 6 units of fluid through this edge. If it's a fluid network or more than this many vehicles or people if it's a road network or this much data packets if it is internet. So this basically depends on the use case. Graph is most suitable way to represent these kind of directed connections, which we actually term as a flow network. So a flow network is a directed graph with flows, capacity of edges, or you can say some values associated with the edges, source and sync terminals and another thing about source and sync is source would not be having any edge coming into it why because source is the one to initiate the flow towards the other connected vertices and similarly sync has only incoming flow it won't be having any outward edge this way you can imagine that the whole world can be represented as a graph or as a flow network where you have connections in some direction, right? So it is certain that there are so many applications to flow networks. A flow network can be a computer network. It can be a network showing virus outbreaks. It can be a network showing cash flow among countries. It can be a communication network, it can be a social network, it can be a transportation network. See this, this is an airway network. So it can be anything you can imagine in this context. It is not really hard to identify where flow networks are required. Now let's talk about what kind of problems we can solve drawing these flow networks. There are few very famous kind of flow problems and these are the maximum flow problem in which the goal is to maximize the total amount of flow out of the source terminal into the sink terminal. We have the minimum cost flow problem in which the edges have cost as well as capacities. And the goal is to achieve a given amount of flow that has minimum possible cost. The multi-commodity flow problem in which one must construct multiple flows for different commodities, whose total flow amounts together respect the capacities. And the last one, nowhere zero flow. It's a type of flow which is studied in combinatorics in which the flow amounts are restricted to a finite set of non-zero values. Here we're gonna talk about the most famous one, which is the max flow problem. And the solution to max flow problem also solves another problem called a min cut problem. There is a theorem behind it. It is called the max flow min cut theorem. So we're going to talk about, we're going to start talking about max flow min cut from next lecture onwards.